Hello guys, I'm back here with another video. Today I'm doing a Bloxburg house tour. You may notice something a bit different. <coughs> and that's that I have my voice in this video. I'm using Freecam, which is the voice recorder I'll use from now on. So, let's get to the house tours. Let me just load in Bloxburg real quick. <coughs> So yeah, I can see free cam over here in the bottom. So this will be a quick overview of my house. Well, houses. I have two houses that are finished. Well, one house that's finished and two that are not finished. So this is an empty plot. This is what's finished. This is partially finished. So, let's go to the fully finished house first, the trailer. So let's just load into this ring plot. <coughs> and as you may see that I am kind of sick today. So yeah. Let's see. So here's my little trailer home. Pretty small, has a big kitchen. No really Halloween decorations, because I haven't used this house a lot. Uh, there is a lava lamp, there's a little phone, there's a laptop. If you're wondering what laptop I'm using, I'm using a Dell Latitude 3350 with an Intel Core i5. And the gaming mouse I'm using is an Anchor gaming mouse. I don't, I don't remember the exact model. But, let's see. So, yeah. My character already has some energy. So, yeah. So, that's my trailer home. Nothing really much. And also, if you open the outhouse, because I couldn't fit a bathroom in there, is Shrek. We have a little lantern next to our tent where the other people sleep because we can only fit in a one-person bed. We have a trash can, my board bullet, which will be temporarily here. A little garden noob, little planty thingies, little plant box. <coughs> and... Yeah. So, let's look at the next plot we have. The next plot is my house. This The small house plot has nothing on it because I just got it. So, yeah. I'll do a, like, full video of me building the small house. I think. Or, like, a part series. Split, yeah, split up into parts. So, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Let's see here. So, here's my big house. Yeah, it's pretty big. So, let's get here. So, there's a little candy bucket. There's my Halloween decorations, my pumpkins. I'm going to probably keep these pumpkins, actually, for next year. The exact same pumpkins. I'm keeping these until September or the next update. Because then I'll be able to have them in my inventory for, like, until next Halloween. Guess. So. I also have a lot of Christmas decorations. So, here's our little spooky tree and my spooky bushes. Little gravestone there. So, let's go into the house through the carriage doors. There's also a front door. It opens the other way if the carriage doors are open. Okay, so I have an automatic light switch. That's why the lights are turning on and off automatically. If I step in. So, here are my cars. I have two quads. Uh, I have one limo. Yeah, limo. Uh, I have the Harley. 
I have a bike, I have a skateboard, I have my favorite car of the bunch, the green uh, black topped Mazda Miata, and my Jeep. And I also here have an office with a PC. Well, there's actually no PC here yet. So, let's go downstairs to the office. Well, it's actually the theater room. So we're going down into the theater room. So this is the theater room. It has some little party light in here. We have a big movie screen for watching all your favorite movies and stuff. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, so the laser lights, here's an example of them in the dark. So yeah, that's my laser lights. We also have an audio system receiver because there's giant audio speakers all around it. I also have a little spotlight. I think I can catch it there. Yeah, a little spotlight. So you get light shine on the couch. So let's see. Here, pizza scooter. Who is that? Why is there a pizza? Uh, my friend is here. Hold on. I just had to inform him that I'm doing this Luxbrook house tour. Uh, okay. So, uh, here is the kitchen. Kitchen isn't complete. There's supposed to be a walk-in pantry over here. So, my friend Ka Crazy Kitty Games made this. I changed the pictures, obviously. A uh, little light box, phone, books, a little fancy table, and yeah, and other stuff. So, yeah, we have the scented candle, fireplace, mm, an audio system over there, patio heater, since it's full, I've turned it on. Uh, yeah, so you can see my little spooky, scary tree. Uh, okay, so we also have these comfy little plaid chairs. Plaid is a new material they added. So yeah, I'm gonna turn off the patio heater since I'm going away. It's gonna have to. So yeah, I also have a little planter box here. So yeah, I'm gonna plant some like a tall natural plant next to this like bamboo. Say so, I got bamboo in here just for little. Coziness. Yeah. Next up we have my room. My room has a bed and cornucopia because it's small and a little laptop. So the other things I have here are a little tub, a little corner tub because I can't fit any other baths, a little toilet, and little sink to wash your hands. Bowl sink. Okay, so here's the sunroom. Credit to Crazy Kitty Games for also making this. Her YouTube channel got terminated, by the way, which is also sad. Also, if you're wondering, the Extreme Gamer, uh, one of my friends, the, why he's removed, because his YouTube channel got terminated. This is one of my other friends' things. So yeah, he's removed from my little friends page on the home page of my YouTube channel. So yeah, that's why. Uh, so here's my closet. Well, not my closet. My other friend's closet. Well, yeah. So here's the bathroom, the main bathroom with a tub, a shower, a little toilet. I need to add some toilet paper there soon. Okay, so next up, there is, yeah, so the vanity actually. It's kind of broken because there's no collision with the door. The door is supposed to have collision. So next up we have the guest room. So the guest room is also made by Crazy Kitty Games. Two beds, metal poles inside of them, and there's like wood on top of them. That's that's that 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 looks painful. Uh, so you also have little cabinets, cabinets with a shelf. With Books because we all love books. Uh, so yeah, the light is like a traditional little light. So next up, we have 
at the Extreme Gamers Room. He'll be on some of my YouTube channel things. So yeah, he'll be on the channel soon. Here is my little other balcony for him. He made the balcony in his bathroom because he wanted it. <coughs> he has a jacuzzi. Yeah, because poor person jacuzzi is nice. If you want that as a tub. Hmm. Also, I'm probably going to have a vlog channel soon. <coughs> okay, so yeah. I'm also going to add fabric shades to the uh, sunroom because you want some shades. Okay, so yeah, I have, this is the gaming room. Yeah, I d and I forgot to mention that that room and the living room have glass roofs. Also that room, which is one of my other friend's rooms that I'm going to get to next. So here is the three-monitor PC. So yeah, here's an example of it in action. These other monitors don't do anything, which is kind of sad. Uh, I was imagining that there would be, you, like, YouTube on this one, something else on this one, and, like, a game on this one. Or maybe, like, a full surround game. I don't know. They just went with that. So, yeah, this is my little snack table. One little chair. Hmm, let's see here. So, close. Close it. I'm gonna and open this. And looky here. We have a little... Balcony, because this is Kitty's room. See, everything fancy is made by Kitty. So if you see something fancy, probably made by Kitty. She added like this little garden look at the corner. That's kind of strange. Look, garden light. What? That doesn't make sense. Why would you have a garden light inside? Hm. Well, moving on. I'll just turn off this. So yeah, we have a little room, a little bed. Let me just turn on this light so you can see it. Let's see it. We also have her own personal bathroom, which she has here. So yeah, she has a shower and stuff. Also, again the doors without the collision like look this door doesn't open all the way because it has collision with the other door and if this door was also open and this door would still have collision with the other door because you get and look this one opens farther so they need to add collision for more objects for like doors and stuff that's the main problem here Next up, we have my other friend's room. He has a little perpendicular bunk bed, and your head's right over the skylight, which is kind of nice, because you can look up at the stars with being in the comfort of your home. So there's nothing suspicious in here, just a laundry room. But wait, do you see that hint there? There's a slight indent in there. It says open. Because it's some sort of a Harry Potter library. I have like some sort of this Harry Potter library idea here. Because they added this secret bookshelf door. It's kind of nice actually. So you can put like secret libraries. Because normally what's behind the secret bookshelf door in the movies is... Is... Oh, that's just a clothing rack. It's like... A library, so guess what? I went along with the tradition and I put a library. So, I'm gonna check out what that little red thing is. Oh, just part of the shirt sticking into the wall. That That's entertaining. We also have a sauna. We also have a... So yeah, I already showed you the office. You also have a little workshop. So I'll take a quad in since that'll be the faster approach. Take a little quad in. Let me just take this quad in. Let's put it over. So 
Yeah, I added blinds to these. Oh. Okay, so yeah, let's see. Okay, so let's open up and drive right in. So here's that workshop. So here's that workshop. It's kind of a big open space. Wow, the turning circle on this is crazy. So yeah, this is basically the ideal car guy mansion workshop. I also put this here for longer vehicles to have easier time getting in and out or turning around. <coughs> Apologize for the coughing. I haven't been coughing a lot lately. Let's see here. Uh, let me just put it in the quad parking space and there. The quads are only like one little block wide, so they can get into tight spaces easily. Yeah, almost still here. Oh. I wondered, oh, for all of you people who wondered what the inside of the limo looks like, here's your ticket. <laughs> here's your ticket. It also has a dabbing noob. Because why not? Yeah, because the dabbing noob as a hood ornament actually suits it. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be flexing on them haters with the limo. So, I'm so... Basically, that's the end of our house tour here, kids. Well, not really kids. Know that not all of you are kids. <laughs> I just... Okay, I'm used to saying kids a lot. I don't know why, but it's just something, okay? I'm just going to have to regain my energy real quick by sitting in this office chair with a flashlight. There's cicadas in the background. Because why not? Thank you, cicadas, for being noisy in the background. And there's a snake bug on my window. Ah, uh, that's nice. There's a little snake bug on my window. So, let's see here. <clears throat> so yeah, my energy's pretty boosted. I think the character can walk normally. Yes, he can. So yeah, you've noticed that I've actually gotten some changes to my avatar because I've also bleached my hair blonde, so he's blonde hair now. So yeah, guys. That's basically all I have. Also, this is a new Roblox dance. <laughs> For some reason, I got this dance because I had enough Robux. Got Roblox because Roblox Premium. So yeah, guys. Thanks for tuning in for this video. And I'm out. Goodbye.